Thanks for joining us here on Monday with the latest on uh, Hurricane Umberto and Tropical Storm Imelda here across the southwestern Atlantic. Imelda centered just a little less than 200 miles east of the Florida East Coast right now, just north of Great Abaco Island in the Bahamas has been strengthening this morning. Maximum sustained winds up to about 60 miles per hour. We are expecting Imelda to go on and become a hurricane by this time tomorrow. Right now, Imelda is moving toward the north at nine miles per hour. We still have tropical storm warnings in effect for portions of the northwestern Bahamas, but expecting Imelda to turn uh, to the north and north east and accelerate uh, towards Bermuda later this week. Right now, Umberto, a powerful category four hurricane moving off uh, to the northwest and expected to turn northward and pass north of Bermuda uh, during the next couple of days. So uh, impacts right now across the Bahamas include uh, tropical storm force winds. We've had some sustained and tropical storm force wind gusts this morning in portions of the northwestern Bahamas. Also expecting four to eight inches of rainfall, which is likely to cause some flash and urban flooding in portions of the northwestern Bahamas today. Uh, in the United States, we can see the uh, heaviest rainfall well offshore of the Florida Peninsula, but we are seeing some moderate to bands of heavy rainfall now moving onshore into portions of North and South Carolina. We do have an isolated risk of flash flooding across much of South Carolina, portions of Central and Southeastern North Carolina, down to coastal Georgia and the east coast of Florida, where some of these areas could see one to two inches of rain, isolated totals as high as four inches, especially under some of those heavier rain bands. Uh, and zooming out now, we talked about the track of both of these storms. These powerful storms are generating some dangerous ocean conditions. And uh, we are expecting, again, uh, a high risk of rip currents across much of the United States East Coast uh, from today into tomorrow, continuing throughout the work week as the large wave field from Imelda and Umberto reaches the East Coast, all the way from Florida through the Carolinas, the Mid-Atlantic states, and even up into northern New England. So if you don't uh, feel safe going in the water, please heed those warning signs, warning flags. Don't get in the water in areas where it does not appear safe or where there are no lifeguards. So to wrap up with the uh, key messages for Imelda this morning, continuing to see tropical storm conditions in portions of the northwestern Bahamas today. Uh, heavy rainfall as well there, some isolated flooding potential, flash flooding and urban flooding potential across portions of coastal North and South Carolina today. Uh, interest in Bermuda should monitor Imelda or expecting to uh, probably issue a hurricane watch for that island later today and as Imelda is supposed to move uh, near that island as we go through uh, uh, Wednesday and into Wednesday night. And swells and high surf from both Imelda and Umberto are likely to generate dangerous ocean conditions across much of the U.S. East Coast through the rest of the week. Thanks for joining us here uh, with the latest on Hurricane uh, Humberto and Tropical Storm Imelda. You can get more information here at the National Hurricane Center at hurricanes.gov, and you can get information from your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan.